Hello everybody. Um, this is our final lesson. Um, or lesson of sorts. <laughs> um, I've got to talk about several things today, so um, it'll kind of run into our time. But um, anyways, um, the last video I'm going to be making for this um, spring semester of lessons, I hope that everybody has gotten some good out of it and been able to learn some things, even though we all had to adapt to a whole different way of teaching and learning and everything. But I was thinking that the good thing about it is, is that you have it to look back on. You can always have these videos, which I'd already been making videos anyway, so that you had a way to, uh, to look back. But being that I've done the lessons, it's kind of brought up and made me think about some things, you know, that I've just off the top of my head during class that could be beneficial. Um, you've had several songs to work on and uh, probably made some progress, hopefully, with several of them, at least a couple of them, I hope, um, and hopefully got plenty to work on for a while yet um, if you keep following the sheets try to get to a point where you memorize, you know, a song, you know, and then move on. You can mess around with one, but, you know, commit them to memory, like I said, because the sheet is just kind of a way, it's just a tool for you to, to learn where the notes are, and then, you know, once you've learned a few songs, you know, hopefully you kind of get to the point where you can kind of hear how other songs are written and played, and you can kind of become, develop your ear and grow as a musician like that. Um, but anyway, um, so, um, I want to have the Zoom meeting with everybody next week. Um, I was, the plan is to do it on the 18th, um, <clears throat> after talking with, uh, Brandon and everybody, um, they said just for us to just schedule the meetings and um invite people to them so i'm figuring that out <laughs> i've uh been to a lot of zoom meetings but um now i'm learning how to to host them so this has been good um so i'm gonna set it up for this class for the mandolin class is my second class normally on thursdays it'll be monday the 18th at, at uh 6 p.m my beginner guitar is going to be at five this will be six and the advanced guitar will be at seven so yeah so we'll be six o'clock um, yeah, hopefully y'all can come. You've got to have the Zoom program installed. Either you can do it from your phone, <clears throat> you can do it from a tablet or any kind of computer. Um, you just, um, install it and then you have to have a valid email and make up a password and then sign in. And then, so when I send this video out today um i'm setting the the meetings up through gmail there's like an attachment to uh to be able to send the videos out from the gmail where i've sent the video so it'll be like you'll get the video and then you'll have an uh, another forward basically of from the same email i believe that will get, have an invite and there'll be a link there. You can click on the link, and if you've got it installed on your computer or whatever you got it installed on, it should just want to open Zoom. And then I believe there might be a passcode that you have to put in, but all that will be in the email. Any instructions, I'll make sure that you know. But it is possible you might have to type in a, a little code, it looked like. Anyway, it's really easy. It's not hard to do at all. It's uh, pretty user-friendly, and, and since I'm doing the hosting thing, you know, you just click and then come join the meeting so try to get there at six if you can um i'm hoping as many of you can come as possible as far as the recital goes anyway um think about you know of all the stuff we've done think about what you think you're best at or something you might want to show off um anything you've learned on your own is fine um you know we're not really gonna be playing together i'm just gonna kind of go around and give everybody a chance to do something and uh you know so be thinking about that um you've got 
you know, it's the 14th day, so you've got several days to think about what you might do. Um, so, yeah, just um, really hope you can come. And um, I know moving forward we'll see about, like, I know there's possibility of private lessons that could be done like this, um, either possibly from me or from a, a list of teachers that work through the Jones house, and I think they said we could even just kind of go out on our own and handle that, not being through the Jones house, but um, anyway, you know, just if anybody expresses any interest of wanting to continue to try to learn and figure something out one way or the other, um, but um, and then in the fall, you know, with the way things are, we just have to see, like, kind of what happens, but, uh, you know, one of these days, hopefully things will get back to normal. But um, at least we've got these tools. We were able to do this. And, and people have done music lessons like this for a long time, even before this all happened. So it's not, it's not impossible to, to really be a valuable tool and learn a lot from. But anyway, um, I'm going to let it go at that. Um, hopefully you're learning your chords. <laughs> down it all how's it go uh <laughs> anyway hopefully you've made some progress with that um i hope you all take care i hope, really hope to see you one day at six if you don't then i hope that you have a good summer and hope to hear from you and uh stay in touch and uh take care we'll talk to you later